Just finished a one-to-one AKT session, did a few questions on contraception, so I thought I'd do a quick video on the different types and forms of contraception available to discuss with patients when they come and ask us to stop getting pregnant in the future. So you start with your barrier methods, a physical blockage that stops the sperm meeting the egg, things like condoms or diaphragms or caps in females, so a physical blockage. Then you have your oral contraception, so tablets. There's two main types, your combined oral contraceptive pill, which is gonna have a combination of estrogen and progestogen, or your POP, your progesterone only pill, sometimes known as a mini pill, it's just progesterone alone. Then you have two other forms of combined contraception, so your transdermal patch, which sticks on your skin, or your vaginal ring. Now these have been combined contraceptives, so a combination of both estrogen and progesterone. Then you have your progesterone only, so no estrogen involved, progesterone only injection, which you have regularly, or your progesterone only implant, which just sits under the skin and again is changed on a regular basis. These are just progesterone only, so no estrogen involved. Then you have two types of coils. Coils are devices that sit at the neck of the wound. So you have your IUD or your copper only coil, so no hormonal involvement here. And then your IUS, so your intrauterine system. This is a hormonal version of a coil, but again, it only contains progesterone. So this, the IUS, the progesterone only injection and the progesterone only implant make up the three forms of LARC, long acting reversible contraceptives, and they all just have progesterone and no estrogen. Then you have a few more permanent methods, so sterilization. So in your male, it's your vasectomy. In your female, you're looking to try and block the passage in the fallopian tubes, so either you ligate it or you block it off. So they're a bit more permanent. They can be reversed, but they're more difficult to reverse. And if you're doing contraception, you can't forget emergency contraception. So things that we put in place to try and stop a pregnancy when we, think, when we think there might be a chance, like in a split condom, for example. You have three main types, levonorgestrel, ulipristal, and the IUD, so the copper coil. We'll cover this in a different video. So if someone comes and says, doctor, I want contraception, figure out why they want contraception first. If it's to stop getting pregnant, think about some of the options available. Barrier methods, tablets, patch, ring, injection, implant, coils, and sterilization. Hope this helps. Can pass. Will pass.